It's your boy Noto. Coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, we're going to discuss three undeniable ways to tell if women view you as a handsome select man. If you already been here or you new here, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and comment. Go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead on and get into this topic, guys. Let's get into this topic. See, let me tell you one thing off the bat. Guys, women are going to give, give you undeniable ways. They're going to give you undeniable signs when they see a man that's handsome and select, guys. And one of the first ways, bro, one of the first ways, and something that I've always encountered a long time ago, like I, I, I like on, frequently, freak on a frequent basis, is that they will take you out on dates, bro. That's the that's, that's number one. They will take you out on dates. They will pay for you. I'm gonna tell you that now. I've gone through that so many times, guys. They are, bro. When a woman really sees a man that's handsome and select and they, they really, really want that guy, bro, they will come out of pocket, bro. I don't give a damn what nobody say. They will come out of pocket. Whoever's saying something else ain't experienced it, bro. And they might not be what they think they are. But I'm going to tell you right now, on a frequent basis, you're going to have women want to take you out on dates, bro. It's like, it's always going to be like, you see how the dude usually has to take the woman out? Usually in these cases, it's going to usually be the other way around. I know a lot of you guys have gone through this. We were like, damn, because I know I sure have. I sure have. I've had women take me out on dates plenty of times. It seemed like it's a, a recurring thing for me. A rec it's, it's getting to the point where it seemed like, damn, I don't even got to take women out on dates anymore because they always end up taking me out. And if you even try to pay, they don't even want you to pay. It seemed like they don't even want you to pay at all. They just want they, they want to take you out. It's almost like they're buying you but not buying you. It's almost like they're simping for you in, in, a, in a certain way. Because, you know, some people would say that a man is simping if they're taking a woman out on a date, which is preposterous anyway. Do you mean you, you act like that? But it is what it is. Women will come out of pocket. So a lot of guys haven't really experienced that. But women will come out of pocket for you. I had a woman go ahead and damn near, like I told y'all before, and this is a, a video a long time ago, a while back, that this girl actually kidnapped me and took me. Actually, two girls have done that. But it, it was it was kind of different things. One on one on one occasion, the other girl took me kidnapped me and took me to Orlando. And we went uh, playing gaming and we, we had all we had a real good time. All expenses paid. We went to this resort and she was she was paying for everything, bro. I didn't have to pull one dime out, bro. She didn't want me to. She didn't want me to spend a dime, bro. She she paid for all the food, all that she was treating me. And we and we, you know everything we 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 went back and we handled business. That was that. And on the second time that I got kidnapped, she she paid for the hotel. She paid for everything. She's almost she just it just automatically just kidnapped me. All expenses paid, bro. You gonna end up, bro. If a woman view is handsome, select, bro. It ain't nothing she won't really do for you, especially when it comes up to money. To money, what? To money, money. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Woman gonna go spend the money on the man that they want. I'm gonna tell you that now. That is that's that's plain and simple. That's plain and simple, guys, because it's almost like they will give out like sugar mama energy. And I don't know why a lot of guys just think that sugar. Every time they hear sugar mama, they think of like a, some cougar or some old woman or something like that. No, 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 no. There are sugar mamas that are around your age, younger, that are around your age, that, that will definitely come out of pocket and give you that sugar mama energy. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Now, I'm telling you guys now, I don't, I don't know. Like I say, these are my experiences, but you will. So you will. Because the reason that they was doing that is because they were so interested in me that they wanted to come out of pocket. It's the same way like how I do it, but like, dang, I really want, I really want this girl. I really want this girl, so I'm gonna I'm try to impress her, and I'm using my, you know, my money. Women do that too, and it, and, and, and it ain't just, it ain't no ugly chicks that do it either. It ain't just no ugly chicks either. They, they were, fi it's some fine chicks. Yes, fine chicks. Two fine of them did to me. Two fine chicks. Bad chicks. Will spend money on a man. Don't, 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 do not, do not, do not, uh, do not be above that. Do not, I mean, do not try to deny that, guys. Do not try to deny it. If you, now, if you haven't experienced that, then that just, this is what it is. Just understand. They will, absolutely will come out of pocket, guys. And the second undeniable way to tell if a woman view you as a handsome select man is that they will give you the look of lust. It is a lust. It is a very, very, very distinct look that they will give you, and it's like a, it's like a, it's like a gaze. But it's almost like that gaze will damn near freeze you like a deer in the headlights, though. It's almost like not saying that you're afraid of the woman or nothing like that, but it's like you can. It's not a look that you can just look at it. It's a look that you can actually feel. 
You can't just you can't just look at this look. This look. This is a look that you can feel. Whether it's at the corner of your eye and you just catch it and, and you get caught in that gaze. Man, they looking at you like you were a lunch platter and they ain't eight in days. They're looking at you how predator looks at prey. It is almost like that. They are looking there. That is that distinct look that you get. Let me tell you about the time, guys. When I went to the gym one time, actually, this happened earlier. This happened earlier. I was in there working out. I was in there working out. And this lady was just looking like, I'm talking about, I caught the gaze, bro. She, I caught, I, I'm way up, I'm way across. I'm talking about, we about a good 50, is about a good 50 feet away. And I caught that gaze. She was on the stair climb. I was way over there by the, uh, in the ab section. And she was just glaring. And I caught it at the, at the corner of my eyes. Almost like I could just almost feel her aura, feel her energy of what she, her intentions through that gaze. I felt her intention through her gaze. And it's almost like to the point where, bro, they will free, it will free, they will freeze. You almost feel like you are only, you and her are the only ones in that, in that space. It's like when she look at you, y'all will be in the, in the same dimension, but nobody else is there. It's like you know what I'm saying. It's almost like it's almost like nobody but you and her there. And when you caught in that gaze, and it's the second time I got caught up when I was over there in the pull up bar. And this other girl, when I came down, cause I had on my I had on my uh my stringer and it showed my my chest and my back and whatever. And she just looked at me. I'm talking about like, bro, it's that he can get it energy. That that he can get it look. That look right there to show you like, yeah, you you can you can get it. And I'm gonna look at you like, yeah. That look they give you, bro, I'm telling you, bro, it's a very, very distinct look they will give you. And it's filled with lust. It just look like, yeah, I want you. Come and get it. It's almost like they said it like that. They want you and they want you to come and get it. I'm telling you, guys. I know. Now, if you've seen this look, bro, like go in the comments and tell me uh, sometimes that y'all have seen some looks like this. But, bro, I'm telling you, they will look at you like that when they view you as handsome and select. That is a very, very distinct way to tell. A very good way to tell that they view you as that way. Because they're not finna look at some any old Joe like that. They ain't finna look at no any old they ain't finna look at no any old dude. That's that's basically an invitation to fuck. That's basically an invitation to have sex. When you look at everything, they're and that, that is that they're inviting you in with the gaze. Like I say, a lot of communication is nonverbal. Very nonverbal. Shout out to Ron Wheels. A lot of the uh, communication is nonverbal, guys. So you guys have to pay attention to that. When they get, when you get caught in that gaze, you have to capitalize. That's another thing. Like I told you in that last video, like when you get choosing signals, the biggest problem most guys have is they do not know how to convert. They do not how to know how to capitalize. And when you get that choosing signal, that is a telltale sign. That is a he can get it energy. If you want some, that is the time, bro. When they give you that, bro, that is the that is the time. They are telling you, they are signaling you, telling you to come and get it one way or another. Come, come say something. Go say something. Don't pass that shit up like Smokey, like, like Smokey and Craig did, Miss Parker. No, do not. Do not smoke. Do, we are not passing up a damn thing. Don't pass nothing up. Get over there and get and get and get right, bro. That can become another regular. See, y'all better, better stop playing, man. I, man, let me, all right. All right. All right. Anyway, the third undeniable way last but definitely definitely not least way to tell if a woman's view you as handsome and select bro they will make everything everything easy for you bro they will make everything easy for you they will not make you jump through any hoops or anything like i told you guys before bro if it's somebody they really really want bro they are nowhere near for them make this make it any way that they can mess this up they are not finna mess this up in any way, shape, or form, bro. They're gonna make sure this is damn near perfect. Bro, they will plan ahead. They will do everything they can to make sure they don't mess this shit up. So you think they're gonna have anything blocking their way from getting the man that they won't? Hell no. I don't think y'all understand how how serious women are about women, about men that they really, really want. That they they, they take that shit personal. Yes, they will take that shit personal, bro. They definitely do. They would bro. They don't want anything getting in the way of it, bro. Nothing getting in the way of, of, of them getting to that man. So what I'm telling you, they're going to make everything easy for you. Even if even if, even if, if you messing up yourself, you could be a dude that's nerdy and probably not even messing up, but they want you so bad and they don't even give a damn about that or that, they still going to make it easy for you. It's been times like that because I had hood, hood chicks 
who would find chicks? People like, oh no, 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 you dealing with low quality women. But at that point in time, that was that was my that was my environment. So it is is what it is. But I had hood chicks, and this is tells you that that you can change things. I had hood chicks that didn't even like me because they thought I was nerdy, but they were still pursuing me. But these hood chicks end up going to college and stuff like that. But it is what it is. But they but the thing is, they will make it easy for you if they like you because I wasn't their typical guy that they would like. But the fact that they was turned on by me. And they, they viewed me as handsome select. They threw that shit out the window. They made it easy for me. So they, they overlooked the fact that I'm not the typical guy that they'll, they'll usually talk to. Yeah. Even though I look like a gangster, you know what I'm saying? Because I got, I, got, I got tattoos and all that shit. But my personality don't match that image. But it is what it is. I, bro, I, I, done, I done converted so many. I done converted so, I done converted so many. I done, lesbians, all kind of stuff. Bro, they will make it easy for you, bro. Anything you want to do, they will make it easy for you. They will make it easy for you to have sex. They'll make it easy for y'all to meet up. They'll make it easy for y'all to, before you to do anything y'all want to do, bro. Anything you want to do, bro, they're going to make that shit easy, bro. A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, kindergarten, pre-K. Bro, they are not going to make anything hard at all, bro. Like I say, like 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 I say, if you wanted if you wanted a chick, you think you're going to make it hard for you to be able to get that chick, a chick that you want so bad? Hell no. Hell no. I ain't finna make it hard for a chick that I want to get in contact with me. I'm not finna make it hard for a chick that I want to come in up. So for, for me to set up an appointment to smash, you got your, you got your rabbit ass mind. Shit. I think I'm finna mess up. I ain't finna mess up a damn thing. Everything finna be picture perfect. Damn it, I'm finna be like, man, I, I'm finna be like a wedding planner. I'm finna be like a wedding planner with OCD. Hell yeah. I ain't messing up. I ain't leaving nothing to chance. Nothing to chance. I'm talking about, bro, women will leave no rock unturned when it comes to you. No rock unturned, bro. Nothing's getting in the way of it. That's why they're going to make everything easy for you. And they're going to make sure all the obstacles are out of the way. So anything that y'all want to do, why do you think they clear their schedules up? Everything like that, bro. They will never, ever make it hard for you guys. Ever. And now when I say that, I say it from a typical standpoint, guys. Because I know they be like, I ain't no, no, man. They do give handsome men a hard time sometimes. But they do give y'all select men hard times. Because they, they view you as a, and they want you because they value you. I understand that. I understand that, guys. I understand that. That is that. Is, but typically, they will not make it hard for you. They will typically. Now, that's the ones that's playing games. But we, we got something for their ass, too. But that's not what I'm pertaining to. So, anyway. It's your boy, Noto. Coming to you with another video, coming to you with another podcast, man. If you're enjoying the content, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and comment. Go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video, man. And remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves if they're willing to work at it. I'm out.